Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today we're making emergency chocolate cake. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. You're probably wondering what in the world is emergency chocolate cake. I found this recipe quite a few years ago. I thought I'd share it with you today. It's a delicious homemade scratch chocolate cake. It only makes an eight by eight pan, and I guarantee you have everything in your pantry to make it anytime you need some chocolate cake. I call it emergency because some days you get home from work and you need chocolate and you need chocolate cake, and this is what I make, or it's just delicious to eat. So it's really basic, so let's get started. It only takes about a half hour to bake and maybe five minutes to mix up. The first ingredients we'll need are flour and sugar, so let's go get those. Here's one cup of sugar. One cup of flour. All right, so we got one cup of sugar, one cup of flour. We're gonna add a third cup of baking cocoa. We need a teaspoon of soda. Now, if you want to make a nine by 13, just double the batch. And if you wanna make cupcakes or whatever, it turns out great on those two. So then we need one egg, and this is a one bowl, dump it all in and mix it up recipe too. So if you got kids that wanna bake, this is probably a great way to get them started. We need a half a cup of oil. Next ingredient is buttermilk. Now, a couple weeks ago when I made this, I didn't have any buttermilk. So if you don't have buttermilk, um, just use a half a cup of milk and add just a, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of vinegar in it. It will sour your milk and give you kind of the same um, chemical reaction that you need. So I've got a half a cup of buttermilk. If you follow my recipes though, a lot of them use buttermilk, so. Okay, then we got a teaspoon of vanilla, or my glug. And then we need a half a cup of super hot water. I'm gonna go to the sink and get just hot water out of the tap. That's hot. All right, so we've got our super hot water, and I'm gonna tell you a super secret ingredient. Are you ready? When you add a little bit of espresso powder or instant coffee to chocolate cake, it makes the chocolate bloom. So this is just some instant espresso and I just sprinkle, I don't know, half a teaspoon in my water. And I add this to all my chocolate cakes. Give it a little swizzle and then dump it in. I'm just gonna mix this up till it's mixed up. So the hot water is gonna activate with the buttermilk and the soda, and that's your leavening ingredient. And you just wanna mix this till it's mixed up. You don't wanna overbeat it. I'm gonna give it a quick scrape down here, make sure I've got it all. And it is a thinner batter, but I tell you what, it is delicious. Okay, so I don't th even think I mixed it for a minute, but that's all you do. And I've got a greased eight by eight baking dish here. I'm just gonna pour it in. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 for a half an hour. So let's get this in the oven.
All right, that was our timer. Let's check on this cake. Oh, see how that's wet? We need to cook it. Let's put it in for three more minutes. <clears throat> All right, so let's check it now after three more minutes. Ah, see how clean it is this time? Perfection. All right, so our cake is finished baking. It's gonna take a little bit of time to cool. And in that time, you can make your, your uh, frosting. You can do chocolate or vanilla or whatever kind of frosting you want. Mocha frosting is delicious on this one too. So we're gonna wait for it to cool. I'll be back, we'll get it frosted and we'll take a bite out of it. We'll see you then. Hey, welcome back. Looks like our cake is cooled. I've got some frosting, and if you need a recipe for frosting, I'm leaving the link up here to my sugar cookie recipe, where I tell you how to make the um, buttercream frosting. It's delicious. So now that our cake is cooled, I decided to do white frosting today. I'm just gonna frost this baby and then serve it up. All right, so let's cut into this. Let's see if I can do a pretty piece, I don't know. Yum. So here it is, this super delicious, this is not the prettiest piece <laughs> because the first one never is, but it is delicious. You never know that this, if you ever don't have a box cake, this is your go-to. Mm. almost fudgy like your cameraman mm. so good mm -hmm. yum oh it is an emergency I need to sit down and eat this I sure hope you try this delicious scratch chocolate cake I always make it when I have an emergency and I need a cake quick it's better than any box cake I've ever had so hope you try it. Hey, comment below if you do. And if you love chocolate cake, if it's your favorite, it's one of my favorites. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn the bell on for notifications. I hope you guys are having a great summer and I'll see you on the next episode. Okay. Bucky dokey. Mmm, chocolate cake. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making emergency chocolate cake. Was that too crazy with my face with the emergency no, chocolate cake? It was good. I just okay. wish that the thing didn't go. Do you, but we can start over. Okay, I'm just start over. Are you done wiggling? I hope so. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, you should turn some red timer on. I could. That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. <sighs> All right, lay it on me. Wow. Gonna taste good, I know.